Live from the local station, the 10 o'clock news starts now. 42 years of fear, frustration, despair for these two men imprisoned for a crime they didn't commit. They are now free to face a whole new world, a very different one from the world they left in 1976. It was nerve wracking right now, really. I'm nervous, you know, because I feel like I'm still locked up. My mother, she died while I was on the death row. And um, I just wanted to get out and be, be, be my second. This emotional day ending with smiles and praise for those who helped free Clifford Williams Jr. and Nathan Myers. Clifford Williams Jr. and his nephew, Hubert Myers, have maintained their innocence since they were charged in May of 1976. Both men were convicted of the murder of Jeanette Williams and the shooting of her roommate, Nina Marshall. Yeah, News for Jacks reporter Corley Peel is joining us live outside the state attorney's office. Corley, uh, everybody wants to know how the state proved that the two men were innocent and what they think about their new freedom. The men say that there was times that they lost faith, but they never gave up hope. And after taking on the case, the state attorney's conviction integrity unit found there wasn't sufficient evidence to prove that the two men were guilty. Praise the Lord. Nathan Myers kisses the ground after taking his first steps into freedom alongside his uncle, Clifford Williams Jr. Williams was 34 when convicted. He's now 76. Myers was 18. He's now 64. This is an opportunity both men didn't think would happen after serving 42 years in prison for a murder in 1976. My mother, she died while I was on death row. And uh, I just wanted to get out and be with, be with my see kids. They was gone and it wasn't nobody but them. Lord, I wrote all the innocent projects. I wrote lawyers. They wouldn't listen. They told me my case was too old. They didn't have the evidence to free us. State Attorney Melissa Nelson says Myers wrote the state attorney's office conviction integrity unit in 2017 in hopes they'd take his case. His letter sat for a year because at that time, the conviction integrity unit was still just an idea. A year later, when the unit became operational, Mr. Myers' letter was one of almost 100 petitions awaiting the newly hired Conviction Integrity Review Director, Shelley Thibodeau. With the help from the Innocence Project, the team reevaluated the shooting that killed Jeanette Williams and injured Nina Marshall after they were ambushed at their apartment in 1976. Nina Marshall identified Myers and Williams as the shooters. State Attorney Melissa Nelson says both men were at a party at the time gunshots rang out. The unit spoke with witnesses, re-examined evidence, and recreated a virtual computer model of the actual crime scene to determine how the shooting occurred. The new evidence led to the judge granting Myers and Williams be set free. Mr. Williams and Mr. Myers, the indictments have been dismissed against you. You are free to go. Thank the Lord, saving Jesus Christ. You know, it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's nerve-wracking right now, really. I'm nervous, you know, because I feel like I'm still locked up. Once I get my family, and knowing I can look back and I don't have no officers around me to tell me what to do and how to do it, and the reality hit in, I think I'll be all right. Meyer says he's not bitter about what happened, but is grateful he can live the rest of his life as a free man. Myers says the first thing he's going to do now is reunite with his family. Since launching the Conviction Integrity Unit, the state attorney says they've received 200 requests for review. Reporting live from downtown, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station. Corley, what a remarkable story. And it, it, a lot of people are asking this. Will these two men get any kind of compensation for the 42 years they spent in prison? Ken, under Florida law, these men could receive $50,000 per year and up to a maximum of $2 million. And quick math says that would cover that. That's more than $2 million they would have uh, been able to get there. Thank you. Corley Peel reporting live from downtown tonight.